This is an overview of the post timeline widget by Unlimited Elements. Let's get started. To get started, drag the post timeline into Elementor. What this widget does, it grabs all of your posts and shows them in an alternating timeline format, just like you see over here. I'm going to take you over all the settings and show you how you can customize this. So the first setting over here is for bullet icon. This is the icon inside of this circle right here, which every post has. So we can switch this to any icon that we want and we can uh, decide not to use it at all. I'll just show you in a second. So over here, this is a star icon. I switched the icon. If you don't want any icon at all, you can just click the remove button once hovering over the icon. Button text is for the button text over here. We can change that, for example, to learn more or whatever we want. And we can turn on or off any part of the post timeline. So for example, if I'll turn off the images, this is how it shows. And you can turn off or on every different part. So for example, if I don't want to show the date, now I turned off the date and the date doesn't show. Inside of post query, this is how we decide which posts we want to show and how many posts we want to show. So for example, if I just want to show only five posts, I'll change the max post to five. And right now it's showing only five posts. You can do more, you can do less. Over here under post source, this is to decide which source to use. So just so you can know that you can use this in an archive page. To use it in an archive page, you can change this to current query post and it will work in an archive page. Post types is for what kind of posts we want to show. You can show pages, products, or posts. Right now the default is post and you can include or exclude terms. That's tags, categories, any stuff like that. So include, exclude, and you can decide if you want children or you don't want children. Order direction, order by, and query ID. That's some advanced stuff. Let's jump into style and see what we have over here. So first of all, there's a middle line over here. We can change its color. We can change its width by using the slider over here. And we can change uh, the pointer distance from top. This is the pointer we have over here. So we can change that if we need to. Inside of icon, we can change the icon size. So here, here we go. I made it a little bit bigger. Now it's more aligned over here. And we can change the icon, the inner icon size. So let's make our icon a little bit smaller. You can also change the color. I'm not going to change that. And you can add a border if you want to, to your icon. Inside of the item, we can change the background color of the item itself. I'm going to leave it a subtle gray because I think that looks nice but maybe you have a different background color and the item color will look better with a different color. Over here we have an option for padding. So let's just push this up so we can see how that affects our item over here. So there you go. Let's push it up to 30. And space between items is the space between the items. Right now there's just 10 pixels between each item, but if I push this up, you can see there's more distance between the items. Item radius, if I want to make my item rounded, if my design is rounded, you can see nice rounded corners over here. Let's jump into the image and we can decide how high the image is going to be. And also we can round our image so it suits our item radius. Awesome. Inside of date, we can change date spacing. It's a space between the image and the date. So if you want that more or less, date color if you want to change, and all the typography settings. The same we have for title and text is the same settings. So spacing, typography, and color. Let's just see this for a sec. So let's change, maybe we want our titles to be uppercase, for example, and maybe we want them to be bolder, and maybe we want to add some letter spacing. Okay, you get the point. You guys are advanced Elementor users, I'm sure. And so over here in button, we have also all the button settings that you might need. For example, to space the button like we did before and to round the button, we can even make our button full width by changing over here to full width. I like it inline, but that's how you change it. So 
Thank you guys for joining. I hope you liked this tutorial and it was helpful for you. I'm going to see you in the next video. Bye.